teams report in. What's the situation? Over. We found another camp up here. Fire was still warm. Command, we're fanning out to pick up the trail. Roger that, but it looks like they've retreated. Primary objective Ooh. is the... snares in the clearing. They must have planned for it. open. The natives booby trap the woods. <laughs> Heads up. We haven't restored the uplink. Expect interference on all transmissions. On the radio, see if you can raise the facility. Last second. Heads up! Incoming! Got Keep it your coming. eyes open. We got a man down! I'm in a flanking position! There's no one killer already! We're suppressing fire now! I got you! I got her! I was on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More arriving every minute. Konstantin gave a speech to the new boots and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this is something more. It's truth. I was broken once. But Trinity is making us whole again. Giving giving us a purpose. A new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play.
down. It's still there. The Prophet and his followers have been traveling under cover of night, a crooked trail around the border of the Eastern Empire. I do not know where they are headed, and I suspect they do not either. But they know we will not let them rest until this heresy is purged. The common folk of the Borderlands give him shelter, and I find it curious that none who have aided him will tell me anything of use. Even when I threaten them with the wrath of Trinity or touch the edge of a knife to their throats, they stay silent. They die, never betraying what they know. The Prophet has a curious sway over people. All the more reason he must be silenced. Prophet has crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the False Prophet and his adherents to the ends of the Earth and wash away his heresy. But I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus Mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language, as if he were born to them. Gonna be cold.
An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. <sighs> must be something up there. Maria Dula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones. And I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. Byzantine brooch. The enamel work is beautiful.
He's passed through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's taunting me, waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter, as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svetloyar. The prophet spoke here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man bearing a crude version prophet's icon tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye, spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads. enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there? out here, and they appear to have been here for a very long time. Living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries, I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are... 